Oldest ski resort in Minnesota is backing away from plans for a million dollar expansion. Tonight, it's back to the drawing board for Lutzen Mountains. Car Cops following the story for us tonight. Car, this was a plan years in the making. Yeah, a whole decade. Leaders at Lutzen Mountains wanted to add all kinds of new ski hills, a gondola, and parking. In their original proposal to the U.S. Forest Service, Lutzen Mountains asked for 500 extra acres of land. But that land fell on the boundaries made in the 1854 treaty between local tribes and the U.S. government. On the map on your screen shows that the 1854 treaty lines were drawn on the territory belonging to Boys Fort, Fond du Lac, and Grand Portage bands. Lutzen Mountains Resort currently sits on 1,000 acres. Expanding into the land would mean adding these hills marked in the dark green area. In the May of this year, a Memorandum of Understanding was signed among U.S. Forest Service and the three tribes, with the U.S. Forest Service saying it recognized that land to be tribal. It was that move that led Lutzen leaders to put the plan on pause while they are focusing on increasing their economic impact in the community. Leaders at the resort tell us they want to find a solution that will benefit everyone. That community includes, of course, the tribes. Um, and so to try and push forward a proposal that is on the heels of a, a brand new MOU that is really groundbreaking, didn't feel like it should be rushed. As for what the future holds, Lutz and leaders say they plan to work alongside tribal leaders. Until an agreement is reached, no new developments will be made. We reached out to leaders at the three Chippewa tribes and did not hear back. We also reached out to the Forest Service. They denied an interview but sent us this statement. They say they will honor the request of the deferral from those at Lutzen, saying they will hold on, hold off on moving forward on